While lamenting about the hardship surrounding the country, a social commentator, Mr. Somto Chuku Oezu, has bitterly shared his thoughts towards the high price of petrol and falling refineries in the country, asking the federal government to work on it for a better Nigeria. This was made known in ACN announced streaming show. They, everyone expected that since we have a refinery owned by a Nigerian here in Nigeria, things should be more cheap. Yes, at least for now, we should not, I estimate, we should not be getting a liter of oil for above maybe 200 naira per liter. But I see these things as being political. Yeah, Nigerian, as we all know, it are uh, being, or oh, Nigeria is being run by some set of people which we refer to them as cabals. These people benefit a whole lot from the struggles of Nigeria. If they tend to make things more cheaper or more comfortable for Nigeria, it's as if they are giving us the power and they tend to lose out of it. So making Dangote refinery one of the means in which Nigeria can get fuel at a cheaper price, it's something they would never want to do. So the way I see this, it's a political strategy just to keep Nigeria hungry just to keep Nigerians in pain and so they can remain in power because Dangote on his he has one of the best refineries in Africa not even one of the in which I learned that some of the some countries in Europe are even sending down their crude oil for Dangote to refine because of how standardized his operations are but over here in Nigeria you discover that we don't even have value we don't value what we have why because there are a lot of things playing on the ground that we actually do not know about a whole lot a whole lot of things that if they should actually make these things much more easier for us it's, it's going to be at their own detriment when you were contesting for that office when you came out the, when you came to tell us that we should vote didn't you know there was no alternative you came you've given you've, okay in the truth is we didn't even award you our vote you got your way and now you are there and you're telling us that there is no alternative people don't feel the pain of nigerians they, they don't, don't. this they don't. this queuing in petrol stations and they don't i'm sure wherever they live maybe wherever it is they, they have private fueling stations that they don't even know what is the current cost of prices in in of, of fuel prices in nigeria they don't feel these things they don't it's they live at luxury mm. you're saying you don't have an alternative what is how much did they spend in the renovation of the vice president's house how much did they spend in the purchase of the new private jet of the president they spend money lavishly nigeria is going into more of a consumption nation than a producing nation we are not producing anything so the only result or the only alternative or the only way they have to generate income is to tax people